Hello, and welcome to another WWE 2K23 Birthday Championship video. Starting with John Chena. Happy birthday, John. But, but, it's not just John Cena's birthday today off the 2K23 roster. So, he's going to have to earn... It is time to do it one time again, John. Yes. Uh, he's going to have to earn his opportunity here uh, by defeating the other birthday boy because we have a female champion currently. If you're not up to date with this, the um, the current goings-on in, uh, in the birthday championship storyline, if you like the series, then uh, do feel free to pause this video and go back and give them all a watch. It's been quite a fun series so far. But we have a female champion currently. I won't spoil it for you just yet. Give you a chance to go back and give it a watch. And both of today's potential challenges are male. So it will be a mixed tag match. There's no possibility of like a triple threat. So we have to decide which of the men is going to go into a mixed tag match against the champion to challenge. And Cena's opponent in this number one contenders match of sorts is T-Bar. So, happy birthday to T-Bar. And happy birthday to John Cena. One of these men will win this match and will go on to challenge. And you know what? You've had enough chance now to go back and watch the series. We'll go on to challenge Lita in this same video. Unless, of course, there's a double count-out situation. In which case, Lita gets the day off and gets a free defense by forfeit, I guess. Well, that's not going to happen, right? We're going to get a result here. Right, guys? <laughs> and the winner of this match has quite the task on their hands. Because Lita is, at this point, the greatest birthday champion in WWE 2K23 history. With a whopping two defences under her belt. It's been quite the hot potato championship. But Lita bringing some small degree of stability to it. Oh, T-Bar gets the uh, right hand in. Literally beats John Cena to the punch. And then nice release belly to back suplex. And then yells. And Cena gets back up and says, nope. Don't yell at me. I will do a sit down slam on you if you yell at me. Oh, body blow by Cena. Oh, and then takes T-Bar down into a crossface. Going for the quick victory. Trying to get this one sorted quickly and then move on to the championship match. But T-Bar's having none of it. And nice escape, actually, rolling John Cena off him. Oh, and then a scoop slam, but, like, launches Cena. And now tapping his head, saying how clever I am. You're not clever enough to stop taunting to the crowd when you're fighting John Cena, though. That's twice you've fallen for that now. Maybe stop. <laughs> Not paying off for you, sir. What has Cena got in mind here? A big old superplex right off the top. Good grief. Wow. Well, the fans like that. The big this is awesome chant breaking out. And now John Cena's going to try and pull off T-Bar's head and presumably throw it like his t-shirt into the audience for some kids to keep as a souvenir. Not successful, however. So now, wow, great strength by John Cena. Deadlift powerbomb on T-Bar. And T-Bar really struggling, using the ropes to struggle and stagger up to his feet. Now, what's Cena got in mind here? Sends T-Bar to the outside. Surely not. What are you doing, John? Don't do it. Oh, he's going to do it. Off the ropes he goes. And he hits a suicide dive. To T-Bar. And the fans are loving this. Cena's had two This Is Awesome chants for his big superplex and his suicide dive. The fans are well into this. Cena pumping up his sneakers like he used to. Oh, but he's just gone for a crossbody and kind of half eaten a big boot out of midair there. And now he's in a precarious position. Oh, look at the strength of T-Bar. Lifting him up into a vertical suplex, but look at the delay. One hand. And drops him down on the outside as well. There's 
Not a lot of padding out there. Little tiny thin mat and then concrete. And those thin mats don't do a lot to cushion your blow from hitting that floor. T-Bar sends Cena into the ring. Cena swings wildly with that clothesline and actually misses. And now look at this beautiful technique by T-Bar. Roll through into the Boston Crab. Great stuff. Love to see it. Can he make Cena submit? It's a rare occurrence and Cena fights out of it. Now, what's Cena got in mind here? No, trying to drag T-Bar around and T-Bar having none of it will not be led around the ring by John Cena. Knocks him back into the corner. And now T-Bar's got something big in mind here. Paint brushes him. Oh, and that was a lot less of a paint brush and more of just a stiff hit. Wait, he's got him up in like an AA position. What the hell is T-Bar doing? Oh my god, an avalanche Samoan driver. That was insane. Is that enough to put away John Cena? No. Good grief, Cena. How tough is John Cena to kick out of that? That was an incredible move. Uh-oh. A stomp in a way. He's got all of Cena's wrist. Cena can't go anywhere. He's just going to take these stomps. Oh, and take him. He does. Look at him straight back up to his feet. And T-Bar's having none of it. Irish whip off the ropes. They collide. They run in. They lock up. Cena's got T-Bar up. Taking him over to the ropes, though. Doesn't go for the AA. That was an interesting decision. Drops him across the top rope instead. And then a stomp to the midsection. Now T-Bar stumbling up to his feet. Oh, cross body block by Cena. Oh, right hand by T-Bar, though. This has been really back and forth, actually. A lot of fun. Oh, a released vertical suplex. Send Cena all the way across the ring there. And now just stamping on Cena's face. He needs that face for Hollywood, T-Bar. Nope, T-Bar doesn't care. He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. Uh-oh. What has T-Bar got in mind now? He's climbing up to the top rope. Cena straight up to his feet, though, to meet him. Uh-oh, what's T-Bar going to do? Double axe handles. Cena hesitated there. I don't know why. And T-Bar capitalized. Oh, and boot Cena right out of the ring. Oh, my God. These were the final two in a Royal Rumble. T-Bar going on to WrestleMania. Can T-Bar win and go on to a birthday championship match instead? Not necessarily at WrestleMania. He's got Cena up in an AA position here. Cena's having none of that. So much back and forth between these two. Got him up again. Cena gets out of it again. Cena's seen his fair share of fireman's carries over the years. I think he probably knows every trick to get out of one there's ever been. He's probably had them all done to him. Just clubbing shots back and forth between these two men. Massive experience and uh, success edge to Cena. But huge size advantage to T-Bar. And a youth advantage as well. Oof. But right now, Cena's got a punched you in the face advantage over T-Bar. Uh-oh. Up. Oh, and down through the turnbuckles. Not quite a buckle bomb, more of just like a, a buckle, buckle, buckle bomb. He's slammed down through all three turnbuckles on the way down to the mat. Looked painful. Cena refusing to let T-Bar get up. T-Bar is determined to look at the speed he got up the second time. Oh, back body drop by Cena. And now goes in for the pin. He's got two. He's got... He's got three. Yeah, Cena looked a bit surprised then. Yeah. Yeah, you might well celebrate. <laughs> so John Cena goes on to challenge Lita for the birthday championship. Let's go, shall we? So, who will Cena and Lita choose? Yeah, I thought maybe Lita might choose Edge. They've already got one win here. They've got all this history as a team. And, like, Edge's history with Cena. Edge has a win over Cena. Like, not everyone can boast that. In fact, Edge is wearing the attire from that show. From that SummerSlam, I do believe. As is Lita. Once again, they're wearing that attire. But, like, it's so much more poignant here. 
Their Phoenix must be fuming. <laughs> I said this the last time these two teamed up. But Beth must be absolutely fuming. Oh my god, Cena has to pick a female partner. It couldn't be Beth Phoenix. Surely not. That would tickle me so much if it was Beth Phoenix. Oh my god. Alright, well. Who's out next? Oh! The Raw Women's Champion. And, for those of you that don't know your history of the championship, the woman that Lita defeated for the birthday championship has stepped up. To get some revenge. She can't get the title back. She's had her shot for this year. She's had her reign. But she can get revenge on Lita. So I'm being told John Cena had a few potential partners to choose. He didn't know whether Beth Phoenix would be up for outright fighting Edge and Lita. As much as she probably doesn't love this. You know, like, she, she knows it's needs must to retain a title and what have you. Um, but then Lita's got some current ongoing issues with damage control. So he could have picked Bailey, could have picked DL Sky, could have picked Dakota Kai. He could have picked Trish Stratus. But you know what Cena's like? He's just fundamentally a captain good guy, isn't he? And he just disagrees with the methods of all of those women. So he approached Bianca Belair and was like... So this is a hell of a mixed tag team we could form here. And you can have a little bit of a chance at some uh, redemption against Lita. And you don't have to ask Bianca Belair to get into a fight twice. And now here we are. And we're in the classic Raw arena. Because fun fact, John Cena has taken on Lita and Edge in a mixed tag match before. So I don't know whether he knew she was going to pick Edge again. He probably had an inkling. Um... But even if she didn't, he still faced and defeated Lita in a mixed tag match on Raw round about this era. However, his partner from that match, Maria, is not available in this game. So, otherwise, he might even have picked her because she pinned Lita. And he would be fine with the uh, his partner pinning Lita for him to win the title, I'm sure. But yeah, so a lot of options for Cena for a tag partner. And I think he's chosen very wisely. Now, yes, you could argue, well, Lita has a win over Bianca Belair. Surely that's a bad pick. But how motivated is Bianca Belair going to be? She doesn't lose a lot. When she does, she's going to want to make up for it. And they want to start in the ring, do these two? Ding, ding, ding. Round two. Fight. And Lita with the head start, actually. Literally throwing Bianca around by her hair, which is on her head. Oh, and then, yeah, still carrying on with the head joke. The bangs her head into the turnbuckle. Oh, excuse me. Tornado DDT. Whew, I think I'm allergic to dodgy wrestling-related dad puns. But Lita is really starting off confident here. She, she was probably quite pleased to see Bianca. Because as much as Bianca Belair is absolutely no joke, current Raw Women's Champion has been for over a year. Like an absolute beast in the ring. Lita's beat her one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, you see the stink guy she gave Cena. And now look at the disrespect to Bianca Belair as well by Lita. Uh-oh. Suicide dive to the outside. Oh, my God. Lita is absolutely on fire here. This is uh, bad news bears for Bianca Belair. <laughs> Hashtag bars. Lita fires Bianca into the ring, but then took a second to... Give the stink eye to Cena again, but she's not paid for it this time, fortunately for her. And a jawbreaker. Now, Lita, already the most successful birthday champion in the history of this championship on 2K23. But uh, she could really cement herself if she gets a third successful defense. But just as Bianca started firing back, Lita tagged out to Edge. Probably good timing for that tag, to be honest. And now we get Edge and Cena one more time. Now, Edge working over the leg of Cena right from the start of these two getting in, basically. 
I don't know if Cena's supposedly carrying an injury or if this is just a strategic wear down to try and take away the base of John Cena's strength. Either way, it's not a bad strategy. He's going for it again, going for the elbow on the inside this time. He has been relentless on going after that leg. And he celebrates and he turns his back and he gets punched in the face many times. You'd think you'd have learned by now, Edge, the number of times you fought this man. And now Cena's going to tag back out. Interesting. Maybe uh, shaken up by the leg strategy here. Wants to just check he's okay on the apron while Bianca Belair fights. Off the ropes. Lita down underneath. Up over the top. Oh, and Bianca just... I don't know what Lita had in mind there, but Bianca just ran through it. But she didn't manage to run through that clothesline follow-up by Lita. Jawbreaker! Bianca a little sluggish getting back to her feet now. Uh-oh! Kick to the gut and a twist of fate! This could be it. This is Cena's opportunity going out the window here. No, he came in to try and interrupt, but Bianca kicked out nonetheless. Didn't even need to come in, John. Don't forget, this is Bianca Belair we're talking about. No slouch. Oh, the feet are up. And Lita's run face first into them. Oh, running shoulder tackle in the corner by Belair. Now what she got in mind here. Single arm just walking around with Lita like she weighs nothing. Pendulum backbreaker lifts her back up. So now she's got Lita levitating somehow. And a second backbreaker. Magic tricks as well as unbelievable strength. Bianca Belair really does have it all. Oh, that tag was badly timed, though, because now Edge has gained control of John Cena. Cena's had a rough time in this match so far, trying to deal with Edge. Flapjack. And a stomp to the midsection. And I think maybe this time, Cena was expecting Edge to go after the legs again, and Edge has surprised him once again with his master strategy. By uh, not going after the leg and going after an unguarded part of Cena's anatomy. Like going after the midsection this time. Keep it unpredictable. Great counter by Lita there, by the way. Did you notice? Jumping up and over and attacking from behind. And again, using Bianca's braid to, to her, as in Lita's, advantage. And again, with the hair. This rated R version of Lita. When she taps into this zone... Because she wants to, really, really wants to defend this championship. Oh my god, big leg drop off the top. Um, but yeah, when she taps into this, she gets vicious. And she's not afraid to bend some rules. Oh, Cena this time. Finally gets the upper hand a little bit against Edge with the crossbody there. He's, had, he's not had the best match so far, John Cena. But he's uh, starting to fire up now. Big clothesline. Edge stumbling back to his feet. A little bit less convincingly each time, I would say. Gut then, suplex. And Edge rolls out of the ring. And Cena gives him a salute. It could have been worse. Could have given him like a Stone Cold Steve Austin style salute. <laughs> Fisherman suplex by Edge. Very nicely executed though. That breather on the outside has served Edge well. Again, such a smart wrestler. Really does play the game of human chess as they call it. Oh, but Cena, no slouch in that department, but also just an absolute beast when it comes to the strength aspect of professional wrestling. Belly to belly suplex. Cena considered using Bailey as a tag partner. But end up not doing. But there's his little shout out to her anyway. Oh, trying to pull Edge's head off. And goes to the pin. One. Nope. Just a one count. And then Cena tags out. Looking at a bit sluggish in this one, Cena. And probably a good move tagging out to... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bianca with a glam slam. Shout out to Beth Phoenix of all people in this match. Two. And Lita kicks out. Oh, my God. That was... Uh, that was poetic, wasn't it? Lita rolls out to the outside for some respite. And Bianca says, nah-uh. No rest for you. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Oh, alley-oop on the outside. <laughs> now, remember, champion's advantage does apply here. So, if both women are counted out, 
No title for Cena. If Lita alone is counted out, no title for Cena. Oh, Bianca meets Lita coming back into the ring. Another alley -oop. Yep, there's another one. But she has thrown her towards Edge. She's got to be careful of that hot tag. But uh, Bianca maintains control. And goes to the suplex. Uh-oh, she's going to delay it. Oh, she's going to squat Lita. Incredible strength. Two squats with Lita held in a vertical suplex position and then drops her down. Incredible stuff by Bianca Belair. Never fails to impress. We all know what she can do. And it just never stops being impressive. Uh-oh. Going for the KOD. And she's hit it. This could be it. Could be the end of Lita's reign. This could be John Cena, the new birthday champion. Oh, Edge was in real fast then. No, he's left. What's going on there? He just, he just stepped back out. Lita kicked out, but Edge just left her to lose there. Now, Bianca tags in and Edge is forced to come in, but Edge and Lita didn't even look at each other on that exchange. What is the deal there? Neckbreaker by Edge and a DDT to follow up. I don't know what to make of that, guys. I guess we'll see how it plays out. So far, Edge is now taking the fight to Cena and does seem to be once again attempting to win. But is he doing that for his own pride or for Lita? Nice bulldog. So soon after the Steiner pack came out as well. And he tags in Lita. Cena's in trouble there. And both Edge and Cena step out at the same exact time. Shot arm clothesline to Bianca Bella by Lita. I think it might just have been a blip. Maybe a, a misjudgment on Edge's part. They seem to be coordinating just fine. Maybe it was even just Edge sensing. He spent a lot of time with Lita over the years in many, many ways. Maybe he was sensing that she had this. Maybe it was faith on Edge's part. Let's be optimistic, shall we? Because they seem to be working together just fine ever since. A couple of really stiff forearm shots by Lita there. And a side slam. Bianca struggling. Flying away up in the corner. Lita. Taunts the crowd. Runs in. Clothesline in the corner. Absolutely wipes Bianca out onto, into a seated position. Then pulls her out of the corner in a very painful fashion. And a kick to the knee. Again, trying to take away the strength. Such a strong team, Cena and Belair. Good grief. Oh, such a successful team as well. But um, not as a team. You know, they have no history as a team, but individually. Um, but first first by Cena, but a rare mistake by Cena. Getting fired up, building on the strength of the... WWE Universe, and he got caught with a downward spiral by Edge. That's some vintage Edge, if you ask me. And if you ask Michael Cole, he'll probably agree. Suplex by Edge. Kick to the midsection. Execution. Straight into the pin. In quite a rush. One, two, three. Edge and Lita uh, win, and Lita retains for the third time. She's, who's going to topple Lita? And again, yeah, it must have just been either a blip or a lot of faith on Edge's part because, you know, these two seem fine now. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Click the things that just appeared on the screen and uh, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos on this channel. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza. You've been amazing. And I will see you next time.